Okay, so I am back for the last part of my grand Hobby Lobby haul. And I wanted to save this product for um, space or shine of its own because I think it's worthy. I do. Now, I will also um, do a little bit of a demonstration with it. And then I will come back later and give a review on it because I don't want to review a product until I give it a try. But I am excited about this. So this is, and it comes with this strap, a carrying case. It is the Hobby Lobby Twin Tip Marker Set. There are 36 colors in here. And it was regular $49.99, but I was able to use a 40% off coupon with this. And I am so excited to give it a try. The SKU number is 1099589. That is the SKU number in case you're interested. But um, yeah, I wanted to give these a try, first of all, because... I'm really trying to learn and teach myself how to use markers. Um, I have Spectrum Noir markers. They're older and a lot of them have dried out from me not using them because I've had them for several years. So um, I'm not sure how rich or true to color they are because they're so old. Um, and I do have some Prima markers, but I also found that with those, I purchased several packages, but several of them had repeat colors, so I don't really have a range of colors. And those are these markers that I showed you earlier in this. So like you see how I have several of those gold colors, a couple of those. So I don't really have a variety, though I love those. Prima markers are great. So back to the Hobby Lobby Twin Tip marker set, and there are quite a few videos out on these. Um, I did not research them before purchasing, purchasing them. I did stand in Hobby Lobby and look at a video or two, but that's not enough to call research. I basically bought, because I was in the marker section, just oogling over Copics that I can't afford and oogling over some other kinds that were there, and I decided to try these. So this is what they look like. They are so pretty. This is what the collection looks like. Love them. Super, super, super cute. You get 36 colors. Now, and you have 36 colors and one of them is a blender. So you get one colorless blender. So you can do your shading and blending. Now, um, what was brought to my attention when I did watch a few vid videos is that the markers say Conda on them. And this is a Chinese um, company that makes these markers. So um, just for you to know that, if you're interested in that, that didn't bother me. And it says the art of painting pen. So... I like how they feel. They have and they have like a um, a grip here. There's a gray support grip just on one side. It has a broad tip, and it does not have a brush tip. It has a um, what do you call this? A fine point chisel tip. That's what it says. It has a chisel tip. I wish it did have a brush tip because I really do like using a brush tip. Now I also purchased some Copic marker paper because I wanted to be able to experience using, hmm, I wanted to be able to experience using markers on marker paper to see if that changed my marker experience. Sorry, I'm distracted with these caps. So this is what I purchased. Um, I was hoping that you could use more than one coupon, but Hobby Lobby, and I did not know this, Hobby Lobby only allows you to use one coupon per person, at least at the store that I went to. So I could only use a coupon on the markers. This was $14.99, more than I wanted to pay, 
what I paid so that I could try this. So let's go ahead and swatch a few. Now, this marker paper says it does not bleed. Now, I don't know if that's only true with Copic since it's Copic paper. So I'm going to place this plastic in between here to see how it works. I'm going to give it a try. I like how it works. Right. Let's do a color swatching. Nice. And then. shade so let me show it to you I don't know why I'm having trouble with this top that's not making me happy either it shouldn't be this difficult Don't you hate when you buy something new and then it starts acting crazy? Okay, so it did not bleed, so I can relax. So this is what it looks like. And you can see the shading here. You can see the layers of the color. Let's try another one. I need that to work correctly. Let's try. Now, I also will say that it's kind of a little challenging getting the markers out of the case. All right, we're going to try this fluorescent pinkish color. Where's the cap? That's pretty. I'll go over it. Markers are so rich, so rich. I like that. So rich, so nice. I like the feel. And now I have to learn how to use markers. I mean, I can use them the way I use them, but I don't necessarily, you know, I'm no Copic enthusiast. another one. It's so pretty. It does color nicely and it's so smooth. Even though it's not a brush nib, it does color smoothly. Look how rich those colors are. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. So yes, I like the way they feel. They're nice and thick. Um, they have this grip. They're nice and juicy. They seem to blend nicely. Um, I used this Copic paper and it didn't bleed. No bleed through. So that was good. But I'm gonna use them for a little while before I give a review. But I just wanted to come and share the last item in my purchase. I'll give you one more look at them because they are so pretty. 36 and I paid $29 for these using that coupon. So they also have them in a smaller size so I think you could get like a, a 10 pack and a 20 something pack. Don't quote me exactly on the numbers but there were three different numbers of quantities of packs you could get and I bought the largest quantity that they come in so take a look check out some videos if you're in the hunt for markers and you're a newbie and you're just experimenting go ahead and give them a try thank you all for watching and coming back to see part four of my giant craft haul at Hobby Lobby and I hope to be back to share with you some projects that I've created talk to you soon and thanks for watching